the main things you have to be able to do as a walk rat, you have to hopefully be good at the job, you have to be able to get on with your fellow human beings, you have to be able to laugh at yourself, and you have to have a charitable heart. Ladies and gentlemen, the kick rat for 2012 is... Joe Pasquale! An old pub on London's Gray's Inn Road is the new home of the Old Order. Here, performers practice their skills, whilst above, entertainment of bygone times also flourishes in mysterious ways. A water rat, the most unloved creature of all. We'll elevate the lowest to the highest in the firmament of good fellowship and charity. So stated the Grand Order of Water Rats in 1889. Performers who got together really purely to uh, do good, to meet up, share the experience of you know their, their profession, but in doing so, enabling them to to do good for those people less fortunate than themselves. Well, the criteria was to support people within the entertainment industry, but it has developed to consider anything that comes in that we feel you know, will help, because at the end of the day, you know, the order basically wants to help. The recently, we, we helped a children's uh, fund in Kingston-upon-Thames, and we financed the repairing of this boat to enable the kids who are either in wheelchairs or not able to, to get on easily to get onto this boat, and it's still used now, runs from Richmond, and, uh, and the kids, they love it, they love it. A zizzle on hawa. A hiss, the blue handkerchief, which is now white. Over there, the great Tommy Cooper, George Formby, Ted Ray, we've got Ted Ray's uh, violin. <laughs> What's the difference between a fat girl uh, and a girl of 16 who's never been kissed? Well, the fat girl's trying to diet and there's some girl's trying to diet. Time to try it. Uh, Stanley Holloway down the bottom there, yeah. And then over there, the, the, the great Bud Flanagan. And over there, that's our international war. You've got uh, Charlie Chaplin, Ben Lyons, Peter Lorre. Laurel and Hardy, Danny Kaye. Get out, get out, get out of town. And over on that wall, you've got Sid Fields, uh, Joe Alvin, uh, Harry Lauder. And over on that wall, that's the Royal Wall. You've got Prince Michael of Kent, His Royal Highness Duke of Edinburgh, and Prince Charles. They do enjoy it. They really do enjoy it. And it gives, I think, for us, it, it uh, when they become a member, we, we you know, we're honoured that they uh, wish to become members. You know, they're seeing entertainers perform and they're seeing another side possibly of entertainers and they're relaxed. <laughs> yeah, the Grand Order of Water Rats got its name basically from four or five guys who had a trotting pony. It was entered into races and purely they did it as, as a, a, a fun day out. The horse didn't perform very well. It didn't win anything and I think after one race, somebody said it's more like a water rat than a pony. And that seems to be, from the records, of where the name the water rats developed. And I think when the order was set up, it was decided to make it sound better, we'll call it the Grand Order of Water Rats. The reason that people come into this order now, I do believe is a lot to do with tradition. I just think if we can do what we love to do and help raise money for people that need it, it's. It, it's, it's like a continuation of what we already do. And I started running the showbiz football team in 1959 and I remember the first game, I was a male model at the time, 
and Sean Connery was a chorus boy in South Pacific and we went up to Wales when the mountain slid into that village, Aberfan, and that was the very first one. We realised that we're in a very, very fortunate, or at my age now I say blessed, profession. I mean people say to me, oh you've got all these old comics in there. I said yeah, and Nico McBrain. They said who's here? very secretive order isn't it he said oh yeah he said there's certain things that you can't tell people about that happens in the order and I went it's like that is it I'm definitely he said no no no, no shenanigans going on like that behind closed doors because <laughs> this is me in the gutter you see so anyway they explained to me um what the order stands for and, and, and how long established it's been and I, I said well I would be honoured if if they order sees fit to to you know bring me in to initiate me when we get the younger guys coming in and the lunatic rock and rollers it's terrific Brian May has been a member for quite a while. Well, the plan is that we'll, we'll get our museum up and running, which hopefully will be open to the public. Uh, yeah, and they'll be able to see some wonderful, wonderful objects that we have. We've got Charlie Chaplin's cane. We have letters that he sent to the lodge when he became a member before he actually went to Hollywood. Max Miller's tie. We have little Titch's boots. There's, there's so much stuff. They really, and Tommy Cooper's fez. And it's just sorting it out and getting it available for, yeah, the public to see it. Let's all get together, lads, for a photograph. All the officers for next year. There you go. I think we're going to have some interesting lodge meetings, ladies and gentlemen, with Joe Pasquale as King and Jess Conrad as Prince. If you could be a fly on the wall, it would be very interesting. And that's, you know, that, that, that sum, I suppose, sums up the order, really. It's, uh, we're slightly quirky. Yeah.